I think that you will not find a bigger Eshkare fanatic than myself, okay? With all that said, with all the videos that I've created, um, obviously because you can see from my page, there, all, there are drawbacks to every resort, to every activity, and um, because we have to keep in mind that these things are created by people. They are managed by people. People are not perfect. And so we have to remember that. So today I'm going to talk about my experience at Explore Park riding Toboggan Shote. This is my personal experience, not anyone else's experience, but my own and <clears throat> my opinion of it. Okay, so uh, let's start off by saying <clears throat> this uh, attraction has only been open for a few months, okay? They have been working on it though for many years, uh, but it has been open for a few months, okay? So at Explore Park, a lot of the walking that you do is underground in uh, underground caverns, caves, okay? I love that about Explore Park. Uh, because you're not exposed to the sun a lot of the time. Um, so there's a heart. It's kind of like the center of where um, you go off to many of the attractions at the eco park. One of the paths that you go down is for Tobagan Shote. Okay. Tobagan Shote, at the end of it, you are released into a wave pool. If you are not riding or getting on, um, the ride of Toboggan Shote, the raft, you can still go to the wave pool and hang out there, okay? Um, there's a path uh, to get there and that's where you can go hang out. So, when you walk to the path to go to Toboggan Shote, you walk in a cave and it points to the direction that you're supposed to go. Now, the drawbacks for me here are, and I'm going to start with the cons here, is there is one main, main hallway to wait to get into the queue um, and then that same hallway is also used or cave entryway is also used uh, for the rides exit and for the exit of the wave pool as well the day i went there was one person working the queue i don't have any pictures of it because phones are not allowed that's another thing you cannot bring your phone on this ride. You can't even, it's not, it's not a ride, it's a raft. Uh, and I guess it's a ride raft type of thing. But um, you cannot have a phone in your phone pouch. Your phone has to be in your locker or you have to hide it under your boobs or something. Um, somewhere um, conspicuous. I meant inconspicuous. So hide it somewhere, um, but you're not allowed to have it. It has to be in the locker. They will tell you, even if you get up to the front of the line, they're going to tell you you need to go put it in your locker. Uh, that brings me to um, like action cameras. You're not allowed to wear action cameras around your neck, on your chest, on your wrist. The only way you, way you can wear an action camera if it's on your helmet. And um, Explorer Park does have action helmets. However, they run out pretty quickly. Now, when you're in, your, in line waiting for the queue, there is this main circle area that has a TV for people to watch the instructions of what to do, what not to do, and such. And then there's benches for people to sit. And then um, to the left of that, if you're looking at the screen, um, there is a big um, um, scale that is in the ground. And that is for people to stand on because they're going to be weighing you. If you do not want to be weighed in public, for other people to see, I do not suggest that you ride this ride because you will be weighed twice, if not more than that. Um, the weight limits here are very strict. It's a 705 pound weight li limit per raft. Um, if you have two people riding the raft, they have to be within 10 pounds of each other. And this, these instructions are coming directly from the staff, okay? Mm -hmm. So the weight limits are very, very strict, okay? I did not get to ride with my group of people. Actually, my group of people, three other people didn't even get on the raft, and I'll get into why a little bit. But the day I was there, there was one person 
working the entire queue on that ground level, okay, which was crazy to me. This poor girl seemed super stressed out. She was having to tell people not to bring phones on, to wait in line. She was having to open up the, the rope to let people exit and enter. It was, it was chaos. She was weighing everybody. She was radioing up to the top, up here, up the steps, um, to up, uh, up there, where Tobago and Shota starts radioing them up there and she was having to note everything she was having to do calculations on her phone it, it was crazy okay and there was someone there that was waiting to get on to bargain shot there like to find somebody he could get on with a raft um like i don't even know 20 minutes probably um so anyways i finally um i'm, I'm let to to start walking up to bargain shot there and again i don't have pictures to show you but right here, ah, it's hard to see, but you see a straight line and then right above that you kind of see like a walking path. That is the walkway to get up and that doesn't even show all of it. It it's, it's, can be very steep at times. It's a long walk. It, there are misters on the side. There's a water fountain. Um, however, the water fountain wasn't it was working, but it wasn't like flowing, so the water was just dropping, so you couldn't even get water. Um, it's a very strenuous, strenuous um, trek up there. Okay, so if you're not like physically fit, I'm not that. Phys I'm not physically fit. I was able to do it, um, and yeah, it was it was a lot of work. Um, my parents didn't do it. Um, my daughter didn't do it. My daughter saw the walkway up and she was like, no, I'm not, do <laughs> I'm not doing this. Um, I went on with a stranger. Um, uh, so when you get up there, you do get weighed again individually and they note all of that down. Um, the ride itself was phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was so scary. It was um, exhilarating. It's very quick. I screamed a lot. I had so much fun, but, and then getting released into the wave pool. The wave pool is super cool, really cool, ch uh, chill spot to hang out at. I love the area, it's beautiful. Um, but I really do think they have some kinks to work out. One being that there shouldn't be one person working the queue area, getting these people up there. And um, at the top part too, there should definitely be more pe people working the queue, getting people on the ride, weighing people, and all of that. Again, I just, I really think that they have a lot of kinks to work out, to figure out, because uh, the weight limits here are very strict. And so, you know, they're definitely trying to follow protocol. So I can see this line getting really, really backed up here. Um, you know while you're waiting to get on and then especially you know if you're getting on this ride and you're not prepared and you have your phone with you you have other things with you now you have to leave back to the locker to go put your stuff in and um get back in line so again this is just my opinion it could be different on other days maybe it was just a bad day that i was there and employees called out i'm not entirely sure but i just want to let you guys know that you know sometimes there are our faults and um, with anything, we have to recognize that, but still, that doesn't negate um, my feelings for um, Eshkare in general. I love the properties, I love the parks, and um, I love uh, their stance on sustainability on, and conservation. So, um, do what you will with my opinion, I just wanted to share it with you guys.